Without adopting cleaner fuels, ships are contributing to about 400,000 premature deaths from lung cancer and cardiovascular disease every year. And ships using the current fuels are contributing to about 14 million cases of childhood asthma per year. So over the last decade, the International Maritime Organization committed to uh, require that all ships operating after 2020 use a, a much, much lower sulfur, much, much cleaner marine fuel. What was primarily missing over that last decade was whether we had a confident understanding of the true benefits of the cleaner fuels. So our work began with an international team from Finland and from North America to look at how those emissions increase concentrations of particles that people breathe and expose people to harmful effects. We had to produce three steps of research. The first step was to produce the very best picture of where ships are operating and the emissions that they release. The second was to put those ship emissions inventories into a, a global model that would follow weather patterns, chemical changes, and physical movement of clouds of particles as they change in the atmosphere so that we would know where the concentrations of pollution went up the most because of ships. And then lastly, we had to calculate what the change in health risk would be for lung cancer, cardiovascular disease, and childhood asthma. When the ships begin to use the cleaner fuels in 2020, we believe that the, the premature death impacts will go down by about a third and that the childhood asthma impacts will drop by more than half.